Hello everybody, uh, it's pretty late at night so I can't be too loud, um, because I live in a house with bad walls and stuff, uh, so I figured that I'd show you guys uh, how I work with Pokemon, uh, basically I spent the last week, uh, well not the week, when, how long has it been, probably four days organizing everything from the 14,000 Pokemon card giveaway into colors or their types. Oh, it's a little bit messed up because I had to change it around a bit based on just how many of a certain type I had. Uh, so basically I'm only going to be working with the uh, working with the types I have in this box. Um, and I'll do it for a little bit. Um, it shouldn't be too much. For now, I'm going to set this aside so I can get into the rares box. Where I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be looking for the evolutions of the foils and rares in, uh, from this box, or whatever colors in this box. So I think I'm going to start off with. I think I'll start off with fighting. So first what I do is I search the cards, take out all the foils. Then I search again, take out all the rares. Then I organize the cards into their elemental colors or types. Uh, and sometimes if I'm... Uh, if I'm doing repacks, um, I'll just leave the commons and commons jumbled up uh, once I separate the commons and the uncommons as well. Um, in this case, I am just looking for evolutions, the evolutions, um, and it would just take a little extra time to try and separate every single card into a uh, creature and stuff. So let's just get this out. So this should be steel. Is that still fighting? That's still fighting. So this whole side I think is fighting. Fighting special energy. So that's special energy. That's going to... Is that regular energy? Oh, that's right. I put regular energy in here too. Just so I could keep them together. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside. And I will go in that box uh, whenever I need, so I'm just going to set these over here. And yeah. Oh, oh my camera's messed up. Just give me a second while I get it fixed up. That should be good enough. <sighs> Set the trainers aside. So I'm in fucking... This is already stuff I've done the evolutions to. And this is the stuff I still have to do. Except for these ones which are errors and uh, misprints uh, from uh, the opening. Actually, I didn't even show you guys one of these. 
What's a foil? That's a uh, mess. Okay, so these ones. So this one I pulled during the latest one. It's crimped up top. And then I pulled these, all square cuts, from, uh, I believe it was the first uh, opening. It may have been the second. I honestly just don't recall. No, these were from the second. Uh, yeah, all square cuts, pretty good ones. Get them graded, you know, they're worth some money. They're worth some money like that, but how did I get errors of that magnitude graded? So let's go. So now I gotta find all the fighting is. Psychic. What's on the side? Lightning. I think this is it. Fighting. So we're just going to be working with these. At least for now, depending on how. Okay, that's dark. There's a gun all over on me. Some of them did come a little dinged up, some of uh, the newer ones, but that is okay. I don't mind that. Uh, most people don't mind it that much anyway. Uh, if I uh, sell these individually, I do tend to uh, give a discount if there's a ding. So we're just going to set this aside for now. Just trying to get a... Okay, so you guys can pretty much see the whole thing. So I actually already organized them by creature. I did this earlier. And uh, you'll see why I did that here in a minute. This isn't going to be too long. I'm only going to be doing uh, this for now because it is late. And I have already uh, finished my work day. But I thought you guys would find this at least a little interesting or if you just like this kind of thing. So as we have here, we left over uh, rares that I, I either do not evolve or I do not have evolutions to, or that don't have evolutions in the sets I have. Um, so I'm just going to set these aside right there. Uh, this will be pretty straightforward here. So basically, boom, right off the top, we have the evolution line for Surfetched. Quick, easy, I can just skim through, find it, 
once I find an evolution line, I take it aside and I put it into, uh, in this case, I'm just going to set it aside there, but usually I, if I have the, a bigger work area, I have, a, you know, a full folding table. This is only like an eighth of a folding table. Uh, I'll have the box open in front of me here and I'll just slip it in the box. Yeah, that's basically it. But I figure, you know, while I'm doing this, um, you know, some people find this interesting. I did not organize these, so how they uh, arrive in here is how they come. Gullet. Does this evolve another time? I don't think it does. Okay, so I know there's no cub food, so I'm just going to set that aside. Second, this stuff underneath my play mat has got to be repositioned. Some toothpicks for when I uh, repair my camera and stuff. Nose press doesn't evolve, swack doesn't evolve, throw doesn't evolve. I don't have the evolution for that. Wait, does that evolve? I don't know if that evolves or not. These don't evolve. I'm just gonna take these aside just because I know they don't evolve, so I'm just just so I don't have to keep sorting through the same cards. So that's going to be psychic, so I won't be able to do that this time. Is that same Galico? Yeah. Okay. Feelings. I think that's in a different color too. Another color. So depending on the cost, I will either put them into my vending machines as evolutionary sets or into um, into a uh, store shelf or case when I get a location. Okay, so the comma, one comma's away. Felt toad. Gotta set this aside. That was a pretty easy evolutionary set line to con to a complete.
Usually I'll keep them together, but that way it's easier to just pick up. Revolutionary step. Hello, and I need that one, so I'll put that there. Revolutionary set. Usually it would uh, take longer, uh, but I took the, if I had uh, all the stuff mixed in, but these ones are the ones that I got last. So I, what I did was I separated the first one uh, that I got beforehand because uh, this took a couple extra days to get here. It was actually a week uh, after the other one got here. Uh, and I had so I had already finished organizing the other ones so it's easier to get or find stuff because a lot of people will just open packs and just set them down um, in a box and just throw all the you know evolutions and stuff in there with it because they uh, already have what they're looking for so that's why it's a little easier to uh, find them at the moment. And ditto. I mean, ditto. That's going to be water. And this set's gonna have just water, so I'm just gonna do this. Because that's gotta get complete by going into the water. And that's gotta get complete by going into psychic. I'm gonna at least go with this. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a right set. Oh, what was that? That's going to be green. Okay, so let's see. Looking for Boldor. It's going to be in the blue. That's going to be in the purple. That's going to be in the green. So Diglett, Palpatoad, and Boldor.
This also helps if you uh, didn't get a good view before of the opening to get a little bit of a slower view of the cards. something up here. Do I put oops I think I already went through the yes. Yeah I did. Well done. That was easy. I gotta get some hungry. <laughs> I, have a, I don't have a snack with me. Okay, so now we're just looking for Palpitoad and Diglett. That's a nice one. I do like this, whatever set that is. Um, that's a lot of nice art. Yeah, it's very repetitive. Um, depending on your viewpoint, it's either uh, relaxing or very boring. Um, but it's honestly not bad. I mean, it, it feels easy. You know, because it's not a lot of uh, strain, but the lack of movement is uh, definitely uh, uncomfortable. The, the longer you do it, uh, it's very important. You uh, take multiple breaks, get up and walk around. Um, Cause if you don't, and you are like me, you get uh, just so in, so focused on it. It's uh, it, you get all it's uh, it stiffens up the back muscles and it gets very uncomfortable. And. Uh, you know, muscle relaxers only do so much. But yeah, very important to only do this for a limited amount of time. And then, you know, walk around, get a drink of water. Uh, maybe do some exercises. That way you, uh, you're staying healthy and fit and you don't uh, end up getting like clots and stuff. So it looks like we hit just a 
another patch of the creature we're looking for. Oh gosh, so many turtles. And uh, yeah. So these other ones are going to need different sets. These ones are the ones we've already completed. And uh, to be honest, this was actually very easy compared to uh, easily most of what I've looked for. On many occasions, you get to the last card of the last box. It's like, oh, well, it's not in that element. So now I gotta go to the very first color of the very first box. And oh, it's a different set, you know, and then it's the last card you look at. But, you know, that's, that's how it's done, pretty much. Um, you know, let me get you some codes and while you're... While I'm doing that, these are my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be opening a lot of packs next month. So we'll do a chilling rain. Chilling rain. Wait a second, I got another one in here somewhere. How many chilling rain do I got? There we go. And an evolving skies. Uh, please only take one code. Leave the other code for someone else. Uh, let's see. Type in Diglett and win this as a giveaway prize. These are the giveaway prizes we I have together so far. Well, uh, you can, if the uh, prizes aren't claimed, they all end up going into my vending machine, but I prefer to give these out. So this is all the stuff we have in videos as giveaway prizes. Um, this one has already been won by someone and as soon as I reach 50 subscribers I will announce them as the winner and they will have that shipped to them free of charge. I will never charge a single penny for giveaways. These are all the giveaway items I've announced in my videos. You know, there's easily 150 cards there, um, plus other things. Um, so yeah, don't go and watch my other videos, claim these prizes. Um, yeah, I would say cl claim the one you want the most first. Just like, for example, if uh, I ask for in that case, a Pokemon's name. Did I put the Diglett in there? Um, fast for the, for example, if I had Diglett and I send you Diglett, but you wanted, a, if you wanted a Venusaur coin, you know, more, then definitely write what I have, whatever it was I asked for for that. And then, uh, say, just, uh, say I want this one the most and then, or something like that, you know. But, I don't know. I'll give you another code because I know no one has made it to this point. So there is the final code. Wait, right, thank you for watching. Have a great night and treat others the way you want to be treated.